This is our annual Summer Soil Health Field Day, and this year's theme is Planting Green. And as we just heard from our farmer panel, they've walked the walk, and they're passing that along to their neighbors who are curious or have their own thoughts and ideas. From my history of planting green and no-till and using cover crops, they wanted me to present and, and give them my feedback and experiences to, to the group today. What you know, maybe your father or grandfather did isn't necessarily wrong, but there's better ways to do it to increase profits and, and productivity while decreasing input costs, getting the same crop with less. This way I'm benefiting the soil and benefiting myself. I came for the cover crop program and try to get some weed control when I really. I think in the long run, it'll save you money on your fertilizer and your weed control. I think it's the way of the future. Uh, I've been doing cover crop now probably for about 10 years, and I had a little problem getting a good stand this year, and that was one thing I wanted to come see the planters. So that's why I'm here. It might actually steal some of the nitrogen that you Cover crops can provide different what we call ecosystem services as long as you understand what they're going to give you. It still takes management. What do you want to get from it? And then that's what you put into it. So far so good. It's good to have farmers getting out here to talk about cover crops. What we're doing is working. We can provide cost share, technical assistance, latest research, and they can get reassurances from farmers that are already doing it. So they can come here, they can see guys that are doing it, build confidence, and, and get them to take that next step.